There are many things to unlock in Kingdom Hearts 3 and you don't have to beat the game to get them. Let's take a look at some of the best items and upgrades you can get pretty early in the game. So if you enjoyed that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Why wait with upgrading your Keyblades when you can already get them to level 8 very very early. So like I mentioned in the previous video, the Blu-Rite material you get for upgrading your Keyblade to rank 3 will be purchasable in the shop after you finish the first 4 worlds. But after that you need Damascus and then Adamantite to get your Keyblade higher. And yes you can get them from chests in later worlds like the pirate one, more on that a little later. But you can actually find a lot of Damascus and Adamantite while flying around in your gummy ship in the Misty Stream Galaxy. So that is the second galaxy where you can go to the Frozen and Monsters Inc. worlds and then later to more worlds as well. Just embark at a location and look for asteroids and keep shooting them, turn up some music or listen to some podcast to make it a little more fun. But in the end, doing this will give you a lot of materials that are needed to upgrade your Keyblades. And this will help you get those Keyblades to a really high level that will then help you a lot during the rest of the game. It will also give you more rewards, but more on that a little later in the video as well. At one point you will likely be out of pulsing gems that you can get from some of the enemies, like the Sutters or the giant blue sort of turtle enemies that you find in the Monsters Inc. world. They should also drop them, so you probably already have some at this point but it might be worth like going back to kill these monsters to get the gems to upgrade your key blades. Going back to your gummy ship because to farm these asteroids you want some firepower to easily break them so you can of course make your own gummy ship with the gummy editor and add some nice offensive power. There is a warm boss in this galaxy as well that you might encounter while flying around. This is a three star fight but totally doable and this will give you a nice gummy ship called airship with a ton of speed and also handy to destroy asteroids so just search for a three star enemy like a sand sort of planet to have him appear but there are are also other gummy ships that you can get in the misty steam galaxy we'll talk about that a little later as it's linked to a really strong item that you totally want to get and again you can get that really early like after completing the first four worlds so more on that a little later in the video i first wanted to talk about some other nice rewards again for spending some time destroying asteroids to get materials that you need to upgrade your keyblades you namely get a lot of parts for your gummy ship as well as a ton of synthesis material that help you reach your collector's goal. Like after farming these asteroids I had to go through many pop-up notifications at the Moogle store because I completed so many collector's goals. And this is really nice because then new materials get added to the shop but more importantly you get items that you can then craft like really good armor, weapons for Goofy and Donald like the Warhammer Plus and the Clockwork Shield or the Aegis Shield Plus or the Astrolabe Plus if you got 42 different synthesis material and the more you of these different materials you get the more of these new items you can craft before we go talk about one of the best items in the game you can get early let's go sailing first because you can also get a lot of great resources and gear during your adventure in the pirate world after you received your ship there are some mandatory islands that you need to visit to progress in the story but others are optional and totally worth your time like the sandbar island or the big donut as donut likes to call it Go to the higher island here and jump from pillar to pillar to reach it and then fight the enemies there. After you kill them you will find an opening where you can dive and there you will find a ton of chests with items like the adamantite. Again needed for the keyblade upgrades and oricalcum. You can get the storm anchor plus shield for Goofy here and way more resources. So yes after you defeated the enemies in the water totally go explore and see what you can get. If we go back to the donut island you will see a big rock there where you will find a lot of white crabs that are needed to upgrade your ship. Also nice and other lands you don't want to ignore are the Axel Island again with many white crabs but also the Oricalcum Plus in a chest near the sort of black you see on the mini map this is needed for the Ultima key so why not get it already more crafting materials and another item can be found on the island of mess tiles that you find over here on the map go to the save point and the moogle shop and then make your way over the island fight the enemies that stand in your way and after that you want to move up via the wall and then go all the way down to jump down on the big box with the red cross on it this will namely give you the silver necklace item that might be of use 
If you then continue to the cave, you will once again encounter some enemies, take them out. But in the cave, you find the map of the island, so that makes it easier to navigate. Now you want to go back up again, because there are some nice chests there with crafting materials. Just follow the path, jump on the pillars, and then go down in the water, where you will find the chest. Some guaranteed Keyblade crafting materials right here. And it's of course pretty fun to explore all these little islands. But these are the ones that you totally need to check out for some really nice rewards. But the real best item you are able to get really really early is a gummy ship. That will make your grind way easier and make all the future gummy ship encounters super doable as well. This is the best gummy ship in the game that you can already get as soon as you reach the Misty Stream Galaxy. And you get it from killing a pretty powerful boss that you need to be with another nice ship that you can get in this galaxy as well. That one is called the Endymion, so just go to a fast travel spot or the Pirate Island if you already unlock that world and then look around and they will see these huge rings of Saturn. Go there and you will notice multiple dots that you can take a photo of. But make sure that you are close enough and they can take a picture and that will unlock this ship. First though you need to go to the world map again, then go to information in this menu then to gummy missions to unlock it and now the next time you embark you will find it in the special tab. You want to use this one with the repair kit special weapon that will give you health back during this boss battle. Really really handy. Get some special teeny ships as well to get more health for example. Something that will also be needed to keep yourself alive during this fight. To go to this battle you want to spawn again at the waypoint or the pirate level and then look for a big tornado. I think you need to be level 30 with your gummy ship in order to see it but I'm not entirely sure. You do need the 200 speed though so that's why the endymion is really good but it also has some nice offense that will also be needed during this fight. It can namely be tricky if you aren't focused but before we go in you want to make sure that you enter via the blue tornado. So rest of it is green, the middle is blue, enter there. It's really important that you dodge the incoming lasers of this boss and you can easily do that by like starting below because the lasers start on top and then you'll have some nice time to dodge them and the moment you know that you will be safe you want to go up again and then hit the ship with the most damage as possible. Later on in the battle the ship will do the lasers two times after each other also making it vulnerable against your attacks so totally use that to your advantage. Of course holding the fire button is super important during this battle and moving around as well so you become a harder target for the many bullets that will fly your way. There will be shields protecting the ship and I think it's smart to take them out as well so you create an opening for the boss that will then let you do a lot of damage before the shields reappear. So make sure you go for the shields and then when there's like one left focus on the boss again and there will also be a phase when they will go full offensive with multiple bullets flying your way. In this situation you want to try and dodge them and hit the boss as much as you can. Of course don't forget to heal yourself but don't do it immediately when the weapon is back from cooldown as you might need it later. And rise and repeat until the health bar is low but then you are not done. There will be another short fight afterwards. Just hit when you can and try to dodge it when it goes full offensive. It will stay in position sometimes and that is the time when you want to attack. Finish this one off and you get a ton of gummy ship XP, but way more importantly the golden high wind ship. The Zwarzgeist ship that looks pretty cool but is not that good. And also the tracking laser special weapon that will deal a lot of damage to high health enemies. But yeah the golden high wind ship is the best gummy ship in the game and has some smaller ships as well that give a lot of health and are also nice for some extra offense. Now you will be unstoppable in space against these asteroids that you again want to farm as noted earlier in the video. And of course also good to note is that when you are done you want to fly to a world and then save your game. Trust me, you don't want to forget that, otherwise you'll lose all your progress. So again, all of this asteroid farming and getting this gummy ship can be done after the first four worlds and it will help you a lot during the rest of the game. Level 8 Keyblades, some nice gear from the gummy collection and then when you get further in the game, you can go to the special pirate islands to get some extra nice loot as well. It's really good to see that you can already get some of the best items and pretty far upgrades while being less than halfway through the game. Subscribe for way more Kingdom Hearts free videos if you haven't already. We are also planning some cool videos for items that you can get after you finish the game. So expect a big one on that really, really soon. Like the video to support the channel and check out the video with Dennis telling you everything about the Keyblades that you can get from playing through the story or another video on tips and tricks every player should know. 
I will, of course, speak to you next time, and goodbye.